this weekend mean for this program? You know, early in the year you had a real competitive series with the Gophers, but lost by a goal each time. Well, what does it mean them coming in here now? with how tight this rivalry seems to start becoming. Yeah, it's great. We've had these dates circled on our calendars basically since we left Minneapolis back in October. Um, we felt like we played great games down there, especially the Friday night game, and we feel really good about playing here at Amsoil against them um, on our home turf little different dimensions on the rink and uh, I think we learned a lot from that series. We've obviously learned a lot from the first semester and uh, I think we have a plan in place and, and we're ready to go. So it's a big one obviously number two versus number four and uh, anytime you have the Gophers in town it's going to be a fun fun weekend. Besides the, the one more goal they scored than you each night. What do you feel was that slight difference between the Gophers and your team? Yeah, I'd say um, just mental breakdowns in, in big places. Um, in the uh, Saturday game, you know, just staying on the ice a little too long. So something as simple as, as a shift. Uh, shift change as, as the games wear on as you play really fast teams you know you need to be efficient out there get pucks deep not not mess around with it in bad areas and uh, understand that they're an opportunistic team so if you do you know slip up with the puck or stay out there too long or, or miss your back check or your assignment on the PK they're gonna make you hurt. Uh, Kelly panic what kind of problems does she pose uh, with how well she's playing right now? That kid, she is something else and uh, what an amazing career she's had. Um, she is always in the right place at the right time um, and, and she makes her line mates better. Um, very creative, someone that uh, you'd love to play with because she sees the game really well, has great instincts and uh, we just have to make sure that we know that top line when they're on the ice, we really need to pay attention to them because I think they're scoring, I, I forget the stat, but like 80% of their goals with those three players. How do you feel your top line matches up against their top line? I like our chances. Um, I think, you know, we score a lot of goals too. What I like about our team is we have uh, good depth too. We do get scoring from second and third lines and from the D, so that's what we're going to need this weekend. Are they lacking a little in depth from past, compared to past three or four years? Uh, it just seems that that first line is, is generating pretty much all of their production right now. They have fantastic players on all three, four lines. Um, and it's just a matter of time for them to heat up. But uh, it is a little more um, centralized, I guess. So you can target that line and hope, hope for good things. Are you assigning a line to any of their other three lines? Uh, well, well, we'll be matching all three. No, yeah. But I mean, you'll be focused on that line. For sure. For sure. Are the Gophers a much different, different team when they don't have um, Cameron Nisi in the lineup? I'd expect her to be in the lineup. Um, and yes, yeah. I mean, she's she's on that panic line with Potomac when they're all when they're all healthy and they play really well together. Kind of like our Stalder Brick and Katka line. Um, very creative. They have a lot of comfort together, and uh, they can certainly put the puck in the net. Those five players that were with their national teams, uh, when do they get back, or are they already back? They're back. Yep, yep. Stalder got back uh, Monday. Kaka and Linnea yesterday, and Maria and Michelle last night. So yeah, everybody's back, full roster. I know it was uh, you know a makeshift lineup against the Whitecaps, and you're trying different things. But I mean, did you see spots where other players kind of stepped up, and, and did you see something that you maybe you can add for this the second half of the season? I think I think the idea was to put people in different spots to challenge some people that you know have been able to play a lot to play with some kids that haven't to lead the way and to give players that are usually on the bench the opportunity to play a lot of ice uh, a lot of hockey and um, so I think they did a pretty good job I think we learned a lot I think they learned a lot it, it's very difficult to play um, a regular shift it's very difficult to play at this level against a really fast team especially the Whitecaps first line and their creativity on the offensive blue line I mean you've got your D covered then your D's down in the corner and somebody else is filled in and it, it makes you think a lot so I think um, it was a great experience for everybody and, and we all learned a lot about what needs to be better and uh, 
what the expectations are for those that are regulars. We talked about it last week, but now you've played it. So, I mean, is it important to have that exhibition to kind of get back into the flow of things uh, before an important weekend like this one? It, it is, especially when five players are away for a tournament. I think, you know, that international schedule makes it really difficult for us. I don't think any team should be playing a WCHA game um, without their full roster. I mean, that that's just doesn't make a lot of sense. So in that way, yes, I think the exhibition is really important. Um, but if we were able to have the full roster, I think we would have been ready to go too. All five of them are healthy and ready to go? Healthy and ready to go, yep. Tomorrow, Maddie's been pretty solid for the team this season, but do you need her to go to another level, probably play the, the game of her career so far this weekend against the Gophers to get a win? I think, you know, I, I don't want to build it up to be like the Stanley Cup championship. Um, I think she loves um, tight games. She loves um, games where she sees, you know, 30 to 40 shots. So she thrives in those environments and, and we met with her earlier in the week and just said every single game is huge and that has to be your mentality. Whether it's the Gophers, which I know she gets really excited about, or it's somebody else. It's, it's take it one game at a time and, and understand that every game this semester for our team is critical. You know, we can't let anything slip by and uh, if you go into it with that mentality, hopefully you do elevate your game to another level. You get a sense with the players that I mean, do you like to see them get up the same way for each game, or is it something when they do get up for a goal for game? Is that something you like to see? We talk a lot about consistency in our performance and in our preparation and in our mentality. So I would like us to get up just as high for the Gophers as for anybody else. Um, to say that human nature isn't involved in, in the Gophers series is a little more uh, special than others would be a lie. So uh, I, think, I think that's okay. It's okay that there's a great rivalry between the Bulldogs and the Gophers and that it's uh, become closer than it has been in the last couple of years. I think that's a great thing. This team gets up so high because it's such a great rivalry, but do you find that sometimes you have to kind of defuse them a little? We talk about not getting too high and not getting too low and just staying staying right here in the middle, stay in the moment, um, keep what's right in front of you, right in front of you, don't get too far ahead. Um, but of course, I, I think it's, it's um, something that all athletes have to work towards because they are excited and it's our first game and our whole team's back and, and we know we, we might have let one slip away back in October and it's, it's hard not to get too high there, but we work on it and we talk about it. Well, I mean, when your team, when you sense they're flat or not fired up, you can apply the torch. Sure, of course. When it's the other extreme, do, yeah. you, do you ever feel the need to defuse it a little bit? Oh yeah, yeah, there's ways to control that in between periods and just on the bench. I think, you know, what, as coaches, my philosophy is always to have a calm demeanor, as calm as pos possible on the bench during games because your team goes as you go. So if I'm flying off the handle on the bench, they're probably going to play the same way. So there are ways that coaches can influence influence that.